else that's uh, that's relevant to the audience we're uh, showing this to. Um, distractions. Uh, I've got a couple of tabs open with a few articles I'm working on, so I may do a bit on the side uh, while we're chatting. But um, yeah, eager to hear how things are going. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you heard me before. Really a big fan of all your guys' work. Uh, I see it all the time. I know I'm not often in these calls, but just wanted to give a high five to uh, all the great work going on in, in this initiative. So I'll pass it to Marco. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, intentions for the call. <clears throat> uh, well, similar to Griff, uh, see how we're going to launch this. I uh, actually figure out the, the best, uh, you know, promotional plan. Uh, and yeah, I've read your article, Jeff, that you mentioned. It's great. I think it's good to go, uh, you know, from my end, um, other guys to provide feedback as well. Uh, and also, I would like to see how we're progressing on the uh, re latest issues that I created, you know, the rounds uh, of testing that we had yesterday. Um, and that, yeah, that's basically distractions. Uh, well, I have open window, uh, cars are outside and kids are playing and my wife is cleaning the apartment and, you know, that's basically it. Other than that, I'm good. Um, and I pass it on to Fabio. Cool. So, hey guys, uh, my intentions for the call, uh, show my work, <laughs> my front end work. Uh, I have a lot, uh, something, some great things to, to show you guys. Uh, I would like to get some feedbacks from you as well. It would be nice. And well, uh, the same, jump into the board and maybe assign some issues if there, there is some issues. Uh, intention and uh, distractions, uh, I'm okay. I'm good today. <laughs> I will pass to Vitor. Hey guys, so basically intentions are to see how we're gonna launch this baby because we were like expecting this for a long time and I'm really happy to do this and see like people watching this and playing with it. And also I have like this week for me was more exploratory. I tried a few things that probably are not going to be on the, the public release but are important in the medium long term. And I have some thoughts about, about the uh, showing, showing the how we're gonna do the irrigation stuff. Anyway, and I don't have any distractions. I will pass to, I think everyone, where you went, right? Oh, Marvin, Marvin. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I forgot. No problem. Uh, so, hey guys, um, no distraction for me, but um, my intention is uh, like everyone here uh, to to see the end and uh, how to to launch uh, the all all we've done uh, and. Um, also, I would like to show you that um, I fixed some issues that uh, Marco and some other people have uh, pushed uh, recently, and just to check uh, the, wor the work of all uh, the other people. And uh, I didn't have the time to read. Uh, in fact, I, I haven't uh, the link uh, for Jeff's uh, article, so I think I, I will read that. Uh, Maybe in a few hours, just to uh, uh, because I, I think it's really interesting. So uh, that's it for me, and I pass to Lauren because uh, she just arrived. Uh, maybe she's not no, uh, in the car. Uh, it's oh, no, complicated. I'm, good. I'm here. <laughs> I'm in an Uber in Mexico. That's my distraction. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but I'm super excited to be here. Um, my intentions for the call are, yeah, just to sync up with everybody, see if we're really ready to launch today. And um, yeah, that, that's about it. Um, and I'll pass to, I just jumped in, Griff. I'll pass to Griff. <laughs> yep, that's it. Uh, I think we hit everyone, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I want to start with Jeff and give him the give him the floor to show off his article and uh, you know, answer any questions if there's any. Sure thing. Um, so I shared screen. I think I shared the right screen. You guys can see common simulator announcement. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Cool. So, um, so yeah, I mean, the, the primary um, reason for the article is to dr drive people, drive our audience to the simulator and play it. Um, but also we wanted to explain kind of the, um, the background behind it, you know, where we're kind of uh, trying to convey a bunch of things all at once, you know, what the concept of a commons, um, explaining what the radical exchange community is, um, also uh, front-end user interface for simulation results from CAD-CAD, 
Um, you know, so there's there's kind of a whole bunch going on in one. And uh, I think just having the article to unpack all of the, the great work that's going into the simulator is really important. Um, and of course, I mean, this is uh, A, funded entirely by Gitcoin grants and B, completed, it's like a entirely uh, community-based uh, project. So it's really exciting to see um, all of the people coming in, upscaling in CAD CAD, uh, you know, lending all their, um, you know, all your talents in, in front end and uh, merging that with the back end of CAD CAD simulations and coming up with uh, scoring metrics and whatnot. Um, so yeah, just wanting to get people in, um, you know, sort of comparing side by side, like the um, Jupyter notebook plots where these are very like data science heavy and you know for a lot of people they come into these notebooks and they're I, I feel like they're pushed away because they don't understand the code or something else so this is a really great um, you know front-end wrapper for explaining the simulations and actually we, we come across this all the time in um, in CAD CAD simulations is you know even once the model is produced uh, even the outputs are still a little too complex for a, for a general audience. So I think more of this kind of front end work of simulations, more of these like user friendly applets to understand CAD CAD simulations will will be totally necessary. So I, in my mind, this is like the first of many such front ends for um, simulations, and the stuff that we've learned in this in this collaboration will be super helpful for for other CAD CAD front ends because ultimately. Um, you know, these, these models are only useful if the audience can make sense of what's being uh, presented by them and able to, to, you know, test other scenarios as well. So I think this is, this is really important foundational work. Um, and wanted to get it out there. This isn't just a game. This is, you know, building front ends for CAD CAD, which is not, not trivial and, um, and not, not that straightforward either. So um, we're going to put in uh, one of the video walkthroughs that, that Griff mentioned. Um, and then dig into <clears throat> yeah some of the details about you know what what are digital twins what is the point of simulations in complex systems um, and then the part that I'm I'm really most excited about is diving into the latest um, uh, latest simulator and pulling out a whole bunch of uh, visuals and a couple of gifs for these uh, for this teaser gallery um, so I'll pull in you know some of the I really like the the sliders and the visuals and I just think this is uh, this is a great way to bring CAD CAD to to a wider audience so. Um, and then, yeah, final call to action is, um, you know, play the game. Um, we're going to give, uh, of course, recognition to the long list of people who helped out. Um, and we'll also re-digest this article into a tweet thread. So we'll put out the main uh, points in a, in a thread and tag everybody and, uh, yeah, include lots of links to, uh, to play the simulator. So hopefully we can get a few hundred people uh, in and playing out with parameterizing a commons, understanding all of these, um, these um, mechanisms in the system and, uh, and how they come together for uh, a better future. Um, so any, any questions, any thoughts? Um, I'm, this will probably go out later this week. Um, once I get the, the thumbs up from you guys that, that visuals are complete, I'll go in and pull some stuff out for this uh, teaser gallery. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll start preparing the content and probably aim to launch um, Thursday or Friday this, of this week, unless there are any, uh, any, anything that comes up. So, yeah, happy to field any questions or uh, comments, or um, we can move on to the next topic of the agenda. Uh, let's just do a quick round on, uh, on the comms plan. Um, I'll just say, I, I think this sounds great. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited to have... Uh, a nice well we have a comms meeting tonight uh for this common stack and so you know merging these efforts uh between the cs this this weekly channel and all the people that come here plus like the common stack like force ivy chris you jess uh and merging that i think is the, the most critical thing uh i i already gave all my comments and articles so i feel i feel pretty complete and uh, but I'm very curious to hear what the rest of the, the rest of the team says. Uh, I'll pass it to uh, Vitor. Hey Jeff, first of all, uh, great work. I think it's like it's really hard to model and try to keep it simple as a level that uh, anyone can get it and like understand uh, your message. And it's great. I don't think I, don't, I haven't re read this yet, but I had a, a nice call with Marco last week, I think that like I basically explained him the the model itself like he was a little bit to understand like the idea was to, under, to explain a little bit better what impacted like what each change in each input change it in the output 
And then like we pass through every mechanism. So we have like 15 mechanisms. And then like we ex I explained really in really higher level, like what, what does this general does? And then like when the people see what like each of those 15 little things do, does like in one day, maybe they might be like, they might understand a little bit better what happens in there. Even if it's like really simple, like, oh, first of all, people get in. Second, people vote. Then just this simple stuff. I don't know, maybe this might help. I might help with it if you think that makes sense. But I was thinking like, even if it's just a little like diagram or stuff, maybe this help like people understanding the, the general concept. But anyway, just a suggestion. Totally. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull up a diagram actually that uh, I've been working on here trying to, and I, maybe it's not for this purpose, but I, I, I hear what you're saying that it's almost like, um, you know, giving a user centric, uh, a lot of the diagrams we work on are, are system centric, um, but I've been working on some that put the user at the center because I feel like it will make it easier for people to understand sort of the, um, the, the options available to them rather than looking at the system diagram. Um, you know, so this, this is one, sorry, let me get the centering properly here. Um, that I tried to put uh, the user at the center and then show what are the options to the user. So, and yeah, maybe this is not specifically for the simulator, but for the TEC uh, or a commons in general, you know, you can fund or withdraw and, you know, TEC tokens. So you put money in or take it out and TEC tokens flow the opposite. Uh, you can propose or do work or you can vote. So this is kind of the um, user centric uh, diagram that I've been been working on trying to show what all the options are available to a person so they can know when they come in, okay, I can either work and receive tokens or I can fund and receive tokens or I can vote with those tokens. Um, is this kind of what you were thinking or more along the lines of specifically for the simulator? Uh, I think this is a more, what it shows like more general for like, it's a diagram there is more general like what you can do, right? And I think it, it's great in my, my work, but yeah, it's kind of in the same line, but I, what I was thinking was more like, not necessarily like what you can do as an a like as a participant of this in the game, but as a, as like more of a streamline of like what are the events happening. But yeah, I think it's it's similar. Yeah, it was just more like to because when people just look at the like how many hatches, how many proposals, like what what does this affect? And it's really hard to explain only one sentence. Like oh, if you do if you increase the hatcher, this happens because you have many complex mechanisms together. But if you like only show the mechanism and just like give a hint of like, oh, this is the, if you change this, this happened. If you change that, that might happen. You might so, have like, pe people might think deeper on the, on the parameters that they are putting in. Vitor, are you saying that, I mean, cause you said you already did this once with Marco. I mean, I mean would you be interested in doing like a, trying to do this in like a 15 minute video? Like a, yeah, I think it works. I think it works. And I, I would, I would also, I would also propose uh, uh, to Vitor maybe, uh, or you know, since you you mentioned it now, maybe just do a quick like diagram uh, of the you know hatchers proposals, funding pool reserve, and everything else, and how uh, you know, and then just notes on side like if you do that, it will affect this, or you know, with the arrows, what is affecting what. And then maybe we can just uh, create like a, a single page of that, uh, uh, like, I don't know, maybe a mock-up in Figma where, you know, when a user clicks on something and says, oh no, but you've done that, like, you know, this will happen and, you know, stuff like that. I don't know, maybe we can kind of animate that, 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 that diagram that you drew. I just worry about time. Uh, the time. No, no, not for now. I mean, just uh, this, this is this, this will not, uh, you know, uh, okay. this is, does not affect the launch. You know, something as like we can additionally launch later on. And yeah, completely agree. Even like in documentation. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I think like the, the simplest way I can imagine, like the fastest way is like maybe a lucid chart, really, really, really simple. Just if it's like all the mechanisms and then a really quick notes like. Oh, this, this happened. This happened. This happened. I can do this like in half an hour, and then like maybe I, I kick off, and we can like at least in the public release, you can do you can put in there or hold this for for more improvements. So I, I don't think it's going to be a blocker. Just just recall to the questions that I had, uh, you know, ask you 
uh, and you know, we, if we can answer them in that diagram, then perfect. Great. Well, Mark, yeah, I'd be I'd be happy to iterate. Sorry, go ahead, Griff. I'm happy to iterate on that with you. Yeah, feel free if you've got a lucid chart or um, yeah, I've I've started creating these uh, uh, whiteboard sort of mural spaces, collective whiteboarding spaces. If you want to, I, I do some of my diagramming in lucid chart as well, but I just find Miro is easier for for collaboration. But um, yeah, I'm happy to to iterate on a diagram like that with you, Vitor, if that helps for documentation or anything else. And uh, also, I wanted to to just open up any any of the work that's gone into here. I just do some sort of like scratch diagramming. If this, if anything found in these boards is useful, um, then feel free. We can iterate on these as well. But um, yeah, I just kind of do some uh, some side uh, diagramming here. I'll drop the links in this chat as well. Thanks. Yeah, we can use, do in Miro then. Probably is easier and can integrate with other stuff in there. Yeah, we can we can do this for of course. Um, well, Marco, did you have any other uh, comments on the um, blog post? Oh, okay. I'll come back to Marco. How about you, Merlin? I know you said you were going to read it later, but... Uh, yeah, I would read the, the article later, so uh, I don't have any comments to, to make. <laughs> Sorry, I, I missed the question. Uh, Griff, I, I didn't know you were asking me that they... Sorry. Yeah, we're just, I just wanted to do a round. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. I have a chance to talk sure. about the comms plan and then and then we'll move on to the normal, regular Yeah, I, I already gave feedback on the article. Uh, I think um, to Jeff, I read it uh, the moment he published it and then it actually, not published it, but shared it with us. So it's good to go for me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great one. Uh, and and we just need to figure out you know the launch pl launch plan, and that's all. Who's next? Fabio. Oh, uh, actually, I haven't read the read the the article as well, so I will pass. But great work, Jeff. It it seems awesome. I will take a look later. And uh, Lauren. Yeah, I also haven't read the article like in completion, but it looks really good. Um, but kind of a, what Vitor was talking about, about creating like documentations and diagrams that are like showing how all of the different parameters affect everything. I would love to like help with that as well. I mean, because that's something I've been thinking of as kind of moving through the common simulator. It's like, wow, well, how is actually the score being calculated? And then as I've been starting to write more in the narrative, I'm starting to understand how these things like connect. And so if you guys need any help writing anything out, I would love to be a part of that too just saying nice well it sounds like coordination should happen in csd dev if possible so we'll just uh, keep it there and and tag lauren and vitor and jeff uh whenever something happens and then santi joined hey santi uh we're just going over the comms plan um i know you missed some of it but i don't know i want to give you the space if you have any comments on the blog post or uh, any other comms strategy yeah. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Uh, well, yeah, I just I just missed the, the initial the initial part of the call, but uh, where can I find these uh, documents so I can take a look at them? Uh, there's an an article link in the chat of the Zoom, and I can also post it in the. Uh, oh yeah, it's just gonna. All right. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Then uh, let's keep going uh, and let's. Uh, Thank you, Jeff. Great work. And uh, I'm excited to see how it goes. Up. We'll talk about at the end, we'll go back into like, okay, what are the steps that we need to do to launch this thing? And uh, it will probably involve a little bit of conspiring with uh, the comms team, which is meeting later today. Okay, so let's start with front end work. Uh, I'll pass it to Fabio and then I guess Merlin. Yeah, sure. I will start when I pass you, Merlin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen. One second. So, let me just. Okay, sure. So, uh, these are the, the issues that I've been working on the last week, this nine one. 
And I will start with the results page because I think that was the page that uh, I was working more. Uh, uh, First, uh, I changed the order of uh, this title and subtitle. So before we had a, a small title here for the chart, and now we have uh, a bigger uh, title here, funding pool, and uh, a good funding pool below, and as well for the sentiment, as well for the token price. And uh, here inside the, the model, I changed the text. So thanks, Lauren. He did, uh, she did a great job. And, and write like uh, a lot about the funding pool and the token price and sentiment charts. So now we have uh, a lot of text here. Uh, I, I would love to, I would like to hear about uh, uh, the alignment here because it's in the center, but I think that uh, Marco can talk a little bit uh, later. I think that maybe aligned to the left, it would be uh, better on the mobile mainly, but I, I will skip then we have a, uh, a sec for comments. Um, as well, uh, I changed the, the y-axis. So here we had a lot of zeros, like uh, five millions with a lot of zeros. Now we have a suffix here, so it looks uh, better. And I changed the sentiment chart to percentage. So before we had decimals and now we, ha we have percentages. Let me remember other issues. So uh, actually, we have also a issue on mobile. I can show the I can show the problem here. But what what was going on was that uh, when the user was pausing or tapping into the screen, it was selecting the text. So I, I basically block all the all the selections here, and now it's working on mobile as well. Uh, let me remember. Oh, and the I think the two last issues. The first one is about the the scrolling of the app. I'm not sure if you guys faced the, this issue, but when the user was clicking on the next button here, at the image loads, when the user clicked at the next button, he was being uh, redirected to at, to the middle of the page. You know. He should be redirected like to the top of the page, but it was not working. And now I fix this problem. I can show, let me just pick one level page. I would just uh, decrease the size. And if I'm the in the ending of the page, I can click in next. And now I'm at, I am at the beginning and it works. It works, make a click and it works. So it was really annoying, uh, mainly on the and on the mobile because like the user scrolls a lot and then he had to scroll a lot to the top as well. But, but now it is working. And the last issue that I would like to talk about is this one. So uh, we had like those graphics on the both sides of the screen before. It was working when, when I start uh, working at the project. But I'm not sure, maybe some PR that we made uh, broke in this, this feature. So now, now I fix and I can show like the nor normal behavior here. Uh, like just loads. Like the normal behavior uh, are these this graphs here on the both sides and they scroll down when, you, when the user scroll down at the page. It was not working. I'm not sure what was going on, but maybe we broke something. Now it's fixed. And let me see if I forgot something. I think that's it. Uh, I will pass to some feedbacks. Maybe Marco has some comment. I think everything is great. <laughs> Those are my comments. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't add any more issues uh, prior to our launch, if it's gonna be this week. Like these are le really, really small details. Uh, and I, I wouldn't worry about them. Uh, everything is working nicely. So great job. I have okay. one question, Fabio, is uh, about yeah. the, the Y axis. Uh, now it's not starting uh, as I saw uh, from zero. So you change yeah, that? Uh, 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 I have a conflict at the um, pull request. So I just have to solve the conflict and it will start at zero. Okay. I know okay. that uh, yeah. you made it. <laughs> no worries. 
<laughs> no, it's it, it was just uh, if I've missed something or I don't know. No. Um, maybe uh, you talk to Vito and I will agree. <laughs> no, it's working. Yeah, it's, My bad. It's okay. <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, that's it. I just, uh, before passing to Merlin, uh, I think I just have a question about the y-axis here, because we have an issue, let me select this one, this issue from Lauren uh, that asks is for adding the y-axis label, like the, the title, right? And then we have for funding pool, I have xdai, and for token price, I have xdai per radical exchange token, token per token. But I was talking to Grief this morning and we don't know exactly what should be the y-axis for the sentiment. Like it should be a sentiment ratio, a vibe ratio or a sentiment. I'd Did love to hear any you, thoughts. Vitor, Vitor what, is, what is the dimension of the y-axis for sentiment? Uh, go, yeah, ideally, it's kind of percentage because it goes from like in the back end, it goes from zero to one, one is stop, like one is the maximum possible, cannot go less than zero. So like on the back end, it's treated as percentage, it's like a decimal. And I suggested that because uh, I don't know, like when I, I think I was talking to Lauren about this, like for the improving the narrative and like uh, when you look at a sentiment of like 0 0.5, just just that, you, you don't know what does it mean. But if you look at a sentiment of 50%, maybe you have a better grasp of like, oh, if I have 80% of sentiment, it's not that bad. But if I have like 0 0.8, like, what does that mean? So, yeah, that's kind of the way, like, 100% sentiment is like, cannot be better than like one. You don't If your sentiment is one, you don't know if it can be two or three. That was it the, does all make idea. sense to me as well. Like having the percentages. The user. Kind of makes sense to me to have them. Okay, so we make yeah. it percent. Uh, what, what should we just say, you know, just a percent sign on, on the top? Yeah, I would. I would. I, w I w wanted to comment on that, actually. Uh, uh, so in sentiment and then in brackets, maybe percentage. Just so that the user uh, knows that these are percentages, actually. That's all. What, what, what okay. Fabio did on the token price. Can you go uh, actually to funding pool chart, Fabio? Just funding really quick. Pool. Yeah. Yeah. He added the these units for like million stuff. We could put on the Y axis, like 70, 80%. No, no. Maybe it's like better understandable instead of putting in the title itself. But yeah. Don't know. And um, also, uh, on the y-axis, it's written x die, but uh, the currency is, is die, x die the the blockchain. So uh, I mean, um, it's not the the, the right label, uh, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, we could say die, but yeah. in the end. All this stuff is too complicated to be launched on Ethereum <laughs> and the gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm in the, the, yeah, okay. Get it. Uh, I mean, we, we could do it. It's just, Oh, is the text, does it say die? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the, the text is x die uh, as it's uh, the blockchain, not uh, oh. die, the die, the currency. But uh, oh. the blockchain. Oh, you're uh, saying it's not the blockchain the has a. Uh, the XDAI blockchain has a an XDAI token. Oh, okay. It's like the Ether for Ethereum. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. No. <laughs> okay. Cool. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's pass cool. it. Let's pass it to Merlin. Uh, we got. We we got. We got to rush. We got to rush a little. Uh, bit. Yeah. I can share my screen if you want. Can you see it? Yeah, it looks great. Uh, sorry. So I um, work on some issues that Marco, Lauren, and I, uh, maybe Danny also uh, pushed recently. So here, 
I uh, just change uh, uh, for the right font because it's it was a weird font that we use. Uh, so I change that. Um, and uh, yeah, I made some changes about um, the tooltips. So now uh, you just have to over and oh, sorry. Ah, so there is some issues <laughs> there. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't didn't encounter. Oh, so okay. I, yeah, I you need to that. fix that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, it's like it yeah. should like the 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 target area should be much bigger uh, yeah. for the user uh, and the uh, scroll. I think so. Yeah. So that it doesn't disappear. Yeah. Yeah. I, ch I changed that. Um. Mm. So here. It, well, yeah. <laughs> um, what I change, um, I add another tooltip, and I center also. I center this this because it was not centered uh, before. So I change that also, um, and I change. I, I think uh, the last. Uh, uh, when after running the simulation, you have um, your score, and so I made I made some changes to um, when you see your future. So I make the title bigger, uh, that a little bit, a uh, little bit smaller, like that. Um, I change uh, a little bit the text. Now you can click here. Uh, not and the share your score is always shown uh, whether you have a good future or a bad future. Uh, you can uh, always share you on social media. So maybe we can adapt this uh, wording when you have a bad future because when you have a bad future, maybe you you don't want to to share your score, but uh, maybe you um, still want to uh, share on social media. I don't know. No, let's keep uh, it. Keep it. Okay. And so here are the fix. Uh, I don't know if I missed something. Um, maybe yes, but uh, it's not really important. So that's my changes. I, I will improve the uh tooltip stuff uh, issue and i think it uh, would be good yeah um, and maybe also for the tooltips uh i underline the text but maybe it's better to i don't know show, change the, the color of the text like uh let me find an example i don't know Oh, no, no, here. Maybe not have uh, an underlined text, but maybe a, a green one like that. Or I don't know, because it's also, it's on the title. Uh, Marco, if you have some comments, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was, um, that green didn't uh, stand out as the white one so for that yeah. reason i wanted to just you know keep it underlined uh it just okay. you know attracts attention and that's basically it because and I I just that one... yeah go ahead sorry no go on. Uh, I, I just had one question uh, i also i think i created uh, two issues for the the funding pool buckets and the slider so basically i'm not sure if you were able uh, to modify that no or i not, didn't or... add the, the time to look at it because in fact okay. the okay. um the c line cylinders uh, have been made uh, it's like it's weird and uh, <laughs> so I don't know how it really work. Maybe Fabio knows no more. I don't know. No worries. Uh, it was no worries. Not a blocker. Uh, it was done by um, by Synthesis guys. Uh, they did all, did all the magic with that stuff. So 
Maybe. So, uh, could again, not a blocker, us. but like in the future, if we can. Yeah. Do you have its, okay. its contact on? So we can ask. Uh, Fabio uh, yeah, or sure. Me, Look, we can uh, ask. Uh, yeah. Look, I, uh, or maybe a Fabio has, <laughs> has a solution, but it's a little bit tricky. Uh, or he, he, does, he did that. So. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's okay for me at least. And um, maybe uh, Vitor, you you want to talk about the 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 back end, back end stuff. Yeah, oh, grief, <laughs> grief, open, grief, open uh, to pull requests on the front end. He's not going to talk a little bit about it. <laughs> I, I just made some content updates. That's all. Nothing nothing major to talk about. But I'm a dev. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go uh, ahead, Peter. Yeah, okay, guys. So try to be quick. Let me share my screen. Okay. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay. So basically... We talked about like last uh, week that our uh, like this was this, the graphs from like last week. So basically, it's a histogram. So the uh, y axis is the number of people that got the score, and this is the score. So people were getting like a lot of score between like 200 and 200. Uh, and our like, like success radio was like 35%. So I deep dive in the code and basically the problem was that the I was being too severe in the penalties so like we have a few penalties like oh if your token price go lower than that percent like if your sentiment is lower than that you have more penalties and this stuff uh, independently of the average and stuff so like our penalties was were really tough then I I changed it a little bit them and then we run the analysis and basically now like this is the distribution so basically now, like if you guys see this and this, so it's more uh, split between the values and our uh, success rate is like 64% based on the data that we have. So I ran 124 uh, runs from our database that people really run. So it's it's well, like based on this data is close to what we're, we're talking about. We're talking about 65, 65%. So these these scores are implemented in the in the back end so like after i do these i do this analysis i like rerun everything again in there with the things updated and it's fine it's running fine and that's it and also oh yeah then i was trying to do some stuff on on the issue that we still have on network edges because benjamin from i think he works from this guy from like Kat Kat education uh, he has a mod with called RedCat that runs like the same model, but with Rust uh, under the hood, and they kind of have a compatibility mode. I was trying to run it, but I, I, I'm facing a lot of problems with installing it and running it because I think uh, our model is very complex for that. But it's not a blocker for the public release, but I'd like to give a try like after we launch it to try to deep dive and try to change this because like, in the in the front end, like in the code, will be the same. But then when we do this, uh, Rust is, is faster to run this stuff. So probably we'll like get a a way faster, not way faster, but faster runtime speed, which is good because we are not now like in the worst case scenario with like one minute and a half, something like that. So it will be a good try, but not for the public release, I think. Okay, so let's start. Let's see that I need to do is, def I think we need to do is define the good charts. And what I did, because like the, the problem with this is that uh, there is no easy way to, to define what is a good graph. Because like you can try depending on what things are and you can, anyway, you can try a few things, uh, but it's kind of a try and error in some way, like calculated. <laughs> so what I did was basically get the, all the, the 122 tries and then I got the better ones and scar general scars. So here we have like funny pull off all of them, but you can have more. So because those are like I have I got nine and they are like the same. You, you cannot see well in this car, but anyway, like you let me go to funny pull. But like the point is that 
there probably are uh, outputs in the 124 that are not good in the true areas, so they are not in the top 10, but they will be will good, have good one chart, for example. So yeah, we need to uh, like I got the data, but I'm I'm it's really hard to define like what's a good chart, like because. I don't know. It's more. It's it's more. I think it's more qualitatively too. Like you have to. I don't know. I'm I'm just having hard times with this. So uh, were we gonna like? So are you saying that this these are the the scores of the top ten total scores? Yeah. Like the graphs of the top ten total graphs. Okay, and so. Yeah but it doesn't necessarily say what the score is for like that that doesn't mean that they get they are the best reps. score for um the funding pool for instance yeah yeah okay i can filter uh, it by mm, yeah i could filter by each one of them and just see what the top score is um yeah at this stage what i would say vitor is uh I, I think it's better. Uh, I really I think it would be fun for us to like have a vote or something. But at this point, I think it's just best that you pick pick the best. Okay. 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 I just we push it when you get it. Okay. Um, okay. I, I try to do. I don't necessarily think it's a blocker though. What do you guys think? Anybody think it's a blocker? No, I can. I can. What can I? What I can do like after this meeting is over is like get the uh, the metrics of each one and get and like like get each metric and, and, and filter by metric and try to get a good one. But yeah, I'll try to do that. Cool. Okay, so we and because there are a few metrics that you cannot have, like my problems that I cannot have a few metrics directly, because the server only split uh, sends the results and not the network itself but anyway i can i can i would try something and define and then we can iterate after the the, the public release um any other questions for the back end okay cool uh if you have a question feel free to interrupt me um i have one thing on my list which is uh lauren did you happen to hear if there's any check-in from radical exchange I did ask Danny about it, and she said she was she was going to do it, but I didn't I didn't get an update after this. Like I'm going to do it now. Okay, cool. I mean, I know they're aware in all that. Um, I think there was a plan to do something, but I think it's okay. uh, cool. Then let me make sure there's nothing else on the agenda. Oh yeah, board. Okay, let's go through the board really quick and just see what issues are blocking. I did go through here. Um, oh man, I don't have the board up. While you're prepping that, Griff, was the radical exchange stuff uh, kind of about like distribution of the simulator and like promotion sort of thing? No. No, it was just like more like consent <laughs> and like, cool. oh, do you, uh, do you have any suggestions for changes we can make? Like, you know, this is all about you, so. Right. Uh, I was in the uh, radical exchange call with Danny when she presented. I don't think there was anything like blocking that that came up, but um, yeah, I'm happy to to double check with Danny because if there may, she's probably more in touch with them for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's like you know, three thirty thousand feet in the air or something right now. So, uh, okay. I'll also make a note on our uh, distribution campaign that we should touch base with uh, Fanny or others in the Radical Exchange to get some further distance on it. Yeah. So I I filtered uh, for public release and I made a new milestone called Fast Follow. So if there's an issue that you guys are like, hey, wait a second, uh, like I see a couple new issues. Um, maybe we'll just look at them really quick. App is not scrolling to the top when change page. Oh. Um, Those are my my issues. Uh, I made a, a, a quick review and I found this one, but uh, they are done. I present them. Okay, cool. So they're they're both done, so we don't even have to really worry about them. Yeah. Cool. 
Mm. Yeah, the graphics not appearing when scrolling the page. Okay, cool. So if there's, but if there is something that like, wait a second, I think this is really important and I labeled it fast follow, like this is your moment to dive into the board. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link and make sure that we don't forget about it. But let's see what we have. Okay, so there's add y-axis titles. Uh, that seems like it's happening. Um, graph, uh, let's start here. Mitigate network edges overhead. This is, looks like it's Santi. Is there a blocker on this one? It looks, it's in the review column. Oh, uh, that, that, I don't, he, if Santi wants to talk about it, but uh, this is just that you have one, like the worst case scenario, one minute and something, and it would be nice to decrease the, the runtime, but it's not a blocker. Okay. I will move it to fast follow. And uh, Santi, are you there? Is there something you wanted to talk about this? Yeah, uh, no, yeah, this is not a blocker. I think this is something that we need to deal for our next, yeah, next milestone, yeah, after the public release. Yeah. Great. Uh, the, the graphical explanations, these are done, right? I guess it still needs to be merged. Oh no, the graphical. So that's Vitor picking the graphics. User so, testing. Oh yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. That I was doing, I will say that. Yeah, nice. Uh, so y-axis, that's got to just be merged. Um, there is, uh, looks like Merlin's taking this one on. There is like a bad link. Merlin, or, uh, I, I do think, you have... Sorry, sorry, Griff. I think this one is already done with the latest update from Merlin, so we can close this issue. Cool. There's no, yeah, it, it there's just, no it's anymore. not merged. It's not merged for now. And I change the, the stuff with the tooltip and then uh, Fabio will review and it will be okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll, we won't close it, but uh, until it's merged, but it's there. Uh, tooltips have a duplicate. Uh, did you fix this one, Merlin? There was a duplicate tooltip. Sorry, I was mute. Yeah, it's okay. This one is okay. In fact, uh, the, uh, the, I added one tooltip and uh, one, the text was not uh, the right one, but it's, it would be changed. In, uh, next. Okay, cool. Uh, so this one, there's uh, some text overflow. Uh, it's oh. and it's depending on the text uh, the the size of the screen. It's like Fabio. Oh, I I forgot to talk about this one, but I fix. I, I will send the the link of the preview deployment uh, to you, Griff, so if you can test and like be sure that the the the, the it was fixed. Okay. Okay. I mean, I I trust you as well, but uh, I'll I'll <laughs> test it. That's what I, I'm down to compliance okay. for sure. Um, uh, for results page, good graph text metrics needed to be explicitly stated. Um, so yeah. huh, this one got in public release. I did it. Okay, cool. That's right. You should that. Uh, change sentiment to display um, zero to one hundred percent. I did it. <laughs> the last two, two, I did it. Excellent. Okay, cool. Well, then, once everything gets merged to master, I guess the next question is, how do we merge everything to master? Mm, I can do it. It's not like a big deal. Okay. Um, well, then we have a we have a general release strategy, Fabio. Uh, when you're when you've merged all the stuff to master. Uh, we pass it to Danny, Marco, and I. We all, we, we look at it, we give the thumbs up, and then it's done. Uh, 
what do you, what's the what's the timeline do you think on any of these last issues that need to be merged? I guess Vitor, you have the graphs. I can do these after you call. Okay. Um, yeah. And Merlin, you have the tool tip. Yeah, but um, tonight or by tomorrow it would be okay. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I understand it's kind of late for you right now, so don't worry about it. You can sleep. Oh, it's not late. <laughs> oh, it's not? Uh, okay. No. Uh, in, in Portugal, it's uh, 5 p.m. Oh. oh, nice. That's right. Porto's got an extra hour. Uh, cool. Uh, well, okay. If you get it done tonight, that's cool. But if not tomorrow in, in your morning, it's also fine, Mark. I'm sure that uh, Marco will probably end up uh, being up in the morning and be able to review it then. And the same with me, I'll probably be, it'll probably be a tomorrow thing for me, honestly. So, okay, well, is there anything blocking us from getting the merge to master so we can review it on the, like, on actually sim.commonstack.org to, uh, for tomorrow? No? Okay, cool. Then, uh then that, I guess that's the plan. So Marco, Danny, and I review it tomorrow on the actual, like, you know, production level. And uh, if there's no glaring things, I think we're, I think we're all ready. So uh, after that, it's just talking with the comms team uh, and, and getting, and we'll just all try to stay in the loop in the CSD dev channel on the exact strategy, but uh, it's getting the, what is it? Getting the, blog posts like on medium effectively and that's kind of like the final final piece that that we add in is there is there anything else i guess the twitter thread and the medium post Me medium post twitter thread uh i guess twitter uh several tweets uh you know a couple in a day uh with previews of the app itself and a clear call to action I would do that so that each tweet has a different uh, screenshot of the app, of the mm -hmm. simulator. So we got like maybe three to four tweets, or three maybe three tweets that day. I let this decide whoever runs the communications uh, for, for the common stack. And then like your re recurring tweets the next day uh, and the day after, you know. That would be my, my suggestion. I don't know. Yep, sounds good. We'll we'll pull together a tweet thread, and I, I think I can even share a draft of the tweet thread. So once we pull the latest uh, diagrams from the sim, then uh, we'll we'll finish up the blog post. We'll pull together the tweet thread, and I'll share it with you guys as soon as it's ready. Um, and then we'll also plan to yeah, go ahead. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, I would also um, publish this uh, project on what is the site called? Where you um, we Reddit. promote your what Reddit? No, right, not Reddit. The other product one. Hunt? Which one? Product Hunt. Product Hunt. Exactly. Yeah, I almost forgot. Like it's Web 2.0, like Product Hunt, but never. Yeah, there on the Product Hunt. If someone, I, I, if someone can publish, I mean, I can do that. Uh, I, I think I've never heard of. I mean, I've heard of it obviously, but I, I don't know how to touch that. Thing. Whoever yeah. you know, whoever will be uh, posting those tweets, just, just go to the product hunt. Uh, just paste uh, the you know the intro from the article, uh, call to action, add people there, uh, us as creators or or whatever, and and that's basically it. And so we can you know make people you know upvote us. Cool. I've got it on uh, as a point on our distribution plan, and I'll touch base with you, Marco, because I'm not too familiar with that. But I'll take a look, and uh, yeah, I think it shouldn't be too hard to repurpose the content there as well, and and maybe a few other places. Reddit, uh, you know, we can we can open it up to some ideas as well. Sounds great. Great. Yeah, and once we have the tweets up, I think uh, later this week, like Friday, Thursday, Friday, it'd be good to just kind of. Like have us all tell our friends, hey, I've been working on this product for a while. It's finally done. I'm so happy. You know, uh, here's the tweet. You know, in all of our favorite uh, favorite Telegram chats and other places, just so. It gets uh, out. And and one final thing, uh, did we also make sure that our server will hold the huge traffic? That will okay. Cool. No, no, I, I'm shaking my head, but that's a great point, uh, Vitor Santi. 
I have the I have a, a script already that I use to attack our server to get informations. I can I can scale it up and try to do I don't know uh, twenty requests at the same time through an hour or something like that. You can try. It. Okay, and if honestly, you know, if we just want to boost it for the week anyway and not even think about it, well, I don't I don't know. I'm open to suggestions, but you know. Boosting a server for a week usually costs just a couple of dollars. Uh, and I, I imagine that'll just be a peak now and then, you know, trickle. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I got to check because the, the simulation needs like single core perf, perf, uh, processing. So I don't, I don't know, it's like, I don't remember how many cores there are in there. So I'll check this out. Cool. Yeah, that's that's probably a good point, Marco. That's really something that's critical. We don't want to post this thing, get it viral on Twitter, and then not be viral on Twitter. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, cool, guys. Great work. Uh, I guess I'll make sure to give an update after the comms call tonight. All the Europe people will be asleep. It'll be pretty late when we get the comms call done. I think it's at like 5 p.m. New York time. So, um, but yeah, I'll give an update on the, on the comm strategy or Jeff will, someone will, and, uh, and we'll go forward from there. Thank you guys. I can't wait to review the final product tomorrow. Thank you guys. Huh. Thank you guys. Bye everyone. Thank Bye you everybody. Bye.